Right, while loops. Loops can execute a block of code as long as a specified condition is reached. Loops are handy because they save time, reduce errors, and they make code more readable. The while loop loops through a block of code as long as a specified condition is true. Now, this is what the syntax would look like. You can type while tab tab, or you can write this out manually. So while parentheses and cur curly brackets. Yeah. Now, this is where the condition is going to go within the parentheses. Now, what's a condition? Again, that's something that evaluates either true or false. Let's say we have an int variable named i. We set it equals to one. We could do while i is less than five. So while that's true, we want to console write line the world. Now, this would run over and over and over again, meaning that this code block right here would be ran over and over and over again until this condition is not true anymore. Now, as you can see, the problem is that it's an infinite loop because this value never changes. However, if we increment the i variable every loop, we can see that eventually it's going to stop. So let me demonstrate this real quick. If I run this, we can see that it just keeps printing out more and more and more and more. However, if we increment by typing i++, i being the name of the variable, plus plus means increment whenever this code block runs. And again, it runs while this condition is true. I'm going to go ahead and run that. As we can see, it prints out four times because it starts at one and while it's less than five. So one, two, three, four, four times. Right. So in order to demonstrate this a bit better visually, I'm going to use what's called the debugger in order to showcase it. So I'm going to put a breakpoint, as it's called, right here. That's going to stop the code from executing any further than this point until I explicitly tell it to, hey, go on to the next step. So if I click F5, let's make the window a bit smaller, place this right here, stretch this out a bit. There we go. Now we can see that the code isn't executed. It hasn't executed any further than this. When the application starts, it enters the main function. This is the main entry point of the application. This is where the application is going to start executing from whenever you execute the application. Moving on. As we can see, we've entered this function, this code block. If I take another step, we can see that the next step would be to evaluate this. We can now see that this int variable holds the value of one. And the next step would be to enter the code block of the while loop. Right, so we've entered it. And this, this expression evaluates the true, obviously, because one is less than five. We're going to write out hello world, as we can see right there. Now we're going to increment i. There we go. Now i is equal to two. Now it's going to go back here because it still needs to evaluate this condition. It's still true. So we're going to do it again. We're going to increment that again. Do it again. Now it's four. It's still less than five. There we go. Now i is equal to five. So it's going to try to evaluate this. Is five less than five? No, because five is equal to five. We're going to step right out of the loop and go to the next step, which would be the end of this code block right here. Now there's also something called a do while loop. A do while loop is going to execute at least once, even if the condition is false, because the code block is executed before the condition is tested. So let's let's see what that looks like. So that would be do followed by a code block, and then a while, and then the condition i is less than five. Now we haven't declared i yet, and I accidentally typed int. Here we go, put a semicolon at the end. Let's declare an int variable named i int i equals one. Let's actually make it more readable. It's gonna do this code block at least once. Then it's gonna test the condition. I personally don't use do whiles that often, but it happens. So it could be good to know. Let's console write line i and increment i. All right, if I run this real quick, we can see that I get the exact same thing. However, we get the val I'm printing out the value of i this time. All right, and that's pretty much it for while loops and do while loops. The next episode is going to be on the topic of for loops. Should be a fun one. See you then.